Nigeria is imbued with millions of hectares of arable land interspersed with substantial tourist and recreational potential. Now, the inability of successive Nigerian governments to take advantage of this gold field of largely unexplored and unexploited God-given resource remains a matter of concern for those who know the worth. We're now being joined by Keiji Kiwa, who is a serial entrepreneur and distinguished figure in recreational estate to have a quick conversation. Good to have you with us, uh, Keiji. Thanks for having me. Good. So, can you give an assessment of where we are regarding tourism and recreational potentials in Nigeria? Also, delving into your uh, sector as well. Definitely. Mm. Uh, I think first we'll start with data. Mm. So um, the uh, Nigerian tourism industry uh, generated around $25 billion, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, contributed to the GDP. Mm -hmm. And um, we are the fourth uh, largest uh, takers of tourists in Africa. Mm. Um, and we have not even begun to tap the full potential mm. of what recreational uh, real estate can do for mm -hmm. Nigeria. And um, uh, what we have done, and, and, and it's projected to grow by 6.13%, uh, 6 mm. every single year. Mm. So if we were to focus on the um, real estate, uh, recreational real estate part mm. of Nigeria, it could dramatically add a, a huge amount of revenue mm. to our GDP. Mm -hmm. And the good news is it's fueled by digitization as a okay. result of Afrobeats. Yep. It's fueled by Nigerians in diaspora, uh, which uh, a lot of people think that the Jakba syndrome mm. is a bad idea. But years later, it works out to be a good idea because mm. Nigerians uh, still want to come home mm. and they tend to come home a lot. So there's a huge amount of potential there mm. for uh, Nigeria. And um, what we've done is we've looked at this and tapped into it. Now, we're, just talk we're talking about international mm. um, tourism. Mm. We're not talking about domestic tourism. Mm -hmm. uh, visa restrictions, uh, the ability, the cost of getting a visa, mm -hmm. the cost of traveling, uh, puts the average Nigerian in a situation where they can't travel out. So mm. they look within. Yeah. And when you look within, Domestic tourism is mm. a huge business. Indeed. So when we know, when we discovered that, we felt, okay, let us look for where the gap is. Mm. Now we have a lot of bars, we have a lot of clubs, um, we have a lot of restaurants. Mm -hmm. Focused on the adults. What do we have for children? Mm. What do we have for families? And when you look around, it's very little. So that's a huge gap in the market, right? Yeah. So we thought, okay. How about we focus on a keyword called affordable escapism? But all the hustle and bustle of Nigeria mm -hmm. at the weekends, where do we take our children to? Where do we take our family to? Good. And the average, the middle class, high net worth individuals will mm -hmm. fly to Dubai, they will fly to Atlantis in Dubai or mm -hmm. Disneyland in Paris for those that can afford it and mm -hmm. those that can get a visa. What about the average Nigerian? Mm -hmm. And that's where we decided okay, I think it's time to invest in a major gap in the market, mm. which is recreational activities for families. Mm -hmm. And that's when we decided to um, build Giwa Gardens Water Park, mm. the largest water park in West Africa, mm -hmm. in Lagos as we speak. Okay, so uh, probably uh, quite some people might be thinking, okay, recreational, real estate, and the conventional one, you mm -hmm. know, what are the major differences here? Fine, we talk about tourism, we mm -hmm. talk about, uh, you know, uh, being flexible in terms of entertainment and mm -hmm. what have you. So. Also, how is this going to drive competitiveness? You said we should look inwards. Mm -hmm. You know, those who can't go out, out there, outside, as it were. How do, how do you do that? Okay. Well, I think you had to ask two questions there. The Indeed. first one was, <laughs> I think the first one is uh, very much on um, the difference between recreational yes. estate mm. and the traditional real estate. Yeah. I think real estate is real estate. So what we do is we classify it. Mm -hmm. So we have real estate for business. We have real estate for recreational. Mm -hmm. And we have real estate for residential. Good. So, um, and as technology t t tends to take uh, uh, precedence, mm -hmm. we have real estate for technology in terms of data centers. Mm -hmm. You know, so, um, and the two work hand in hand. But mm -hmm. the major drivers of real, of, um, real estate growth is um, a mix, uh, an even mixed ratio mm -hmm. of residential, business, and um, recreational. What okay. do I mean by that? Yeah. If you have a, um, a huge piece of land, mm -hmm. and that huge piece of land has a target audience, uh, population density of high net worth individuals, mm -hmm. that drives the value of that property. Good. Uh, um, but when you now add 
recreate um, business activities in terms of business centers, mm -hmm. and you add uh, accessibility and uh, connectivity within proximity, yep. then you now increase the value further. Mm. Then when you now add recreational activities for people to take their families to within proximity, mm. that further increases the value. Mm. So they, they're intertwined. They work hand in hand together. Mm. So um, one of the things I tend to encourage a lot of developers is we shouldn't just look to building houses and building houses and building houses. Yeah. We should look towards also recreational mm -hmm. and also um, business mm. because when they are, that's where you build a community. That's where yeah. you drive growth in that respect. And the second question, mm. um, if I can remember yeah. again. Driving competitiveness yes. regarding this. Good. So in terms of driving competitiveness, I think um, uh, the best thing to do is use, let's just use my uh, water pack as yeah. a case study. Mm. Um, the water park is based in Shongotedo. You have the largest um, uh, mall in Lagos, Novoro Mall, right next to it. And that drove, so that, that mall as a business center, mm -hmm. creating jobs, drove a lot of people to start building, yeah. okay? Now you now have the water park, which is now bringing tourism, both mm -hmm. domestic and international. Mm -hmm. Now what would that do? It will create more businesses. You, you, they got their other needs, mm -hmm. like a bar, a restaurant, uh, vacational homes. Mm -hmm. And um, that would then drive a lot of um, other entrepreneurs, real estate entrepreneurs, mm. to basically build in that area. Mm -hmm. And that would drive competition. And mm. when competition, when you have a, a need for something, mm. okay, so demand, uh, when you look at the law of demand and supply, yeah. um, it's basically what you then have is a lot of people showing mm. interest in that area mm. and a lot of developers jumping there because of the opportunity. Mm. And then that way it drives competition. Very good. One last word mm -hmm. in one minute. Mm -hmm. What are the prospects, long-term prospects for this sector, as it were? Now, when we say sector, do mm -hmm. we mean real estate sector or do Re we mean recreational? Recreational. Or That's what our we're tourism. So, tourism, recreational. Good. I think the oh, I think they're five and six. Mm. Tourism and real estate is five and six. And what do I mean by that? Peter, who is coming from the US or from the UK mm. to Nigeria. Mm. Mm to probably come and visit Omo Resort mm. needs a place to stay. Mm -hmm. And that resort is sitting on a piece of land, mm -hmm. real estate. So when I say tourism and real estate are mm. five and six, yeah. that's what I mean by that. Now, when we look at the potential of it, when we look at the opportunities it presents, we let's take Lagos State, for example, a, um, a state of 22 million people. Yeah. And if you were to just take 1% of those, that population, that's, sorry, 10% of that population, yeah. that's 2 million people. Yeah. Now, 2 million people mm. spending on an average of 10,000 Naira a day Very good. is a heck of a lot of money. Indeed. The question is, where are they able to spend that money? Mm. And where are they able to spend that money, not just for themselves, but for their families? Right, we get the picture there. Mm -hmm. All right, KG Giwa, entrepreneur and recreational real estate practitioner, would like to thank you very much thank for you. your thoughts on those issues. Thank mm -hmm. you.